Hi guys, welcome back to Dove Ventures. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tom and this is our camper van. So guys, if you've been following us for a long time, you'll know that like, you know, most of the videos that we do, you know, they're about like modifications that we've had done, travel, adventure, you know, and just everything about owning a camper van. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different because the other day when we went well camping, well, I did a solo well camp, um, me and Thor, um, that's our fur baby if you're new to the channel, um, and on the way home, um, I got a warning light on the dashboard and it was an ABS warning light, um, anyway, I got home um, and it was still on, so one of my friends has got like a, a diagnostic computer thing, he plugged it in and it turns out that there's a fault with the right rear ABS system. Now, what I'm going to do today is, um, I, th I thought, you know, whether to do a video about it or not, but I want to show, like, all parts of, like, owning a camper van and everything. So, I've actually been out, um, I bought a new sensor for it, and today, my friend is actually coming, uh, and he's actually going to fit the sensor, and hopefully that will cure it, because apparently it could be one of, like, a few things, um, but that's the best thing to try first, you know, the actual sensor. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the van up, take it off the drive, and then get it ready for when my friend turns up. So as you can see guys, I've not started the van for a couple of days, I've started it up and straight away it's come on, so it definitely needs looking at. Now we're actually hoping that we can actually get this sensor out without having to take the wheel off, but I mean I don't know what I'm talking about, he just said that he might be able to do it, so we'll see. Right guys, my friend is that good a mechanic, he actually managed to change the sensor without taking the wheel off, so would you recommend that? Is it it wasn't it wasn't easy, was it? Yeah, he, he, he had to mess about, so if it is something that you're gonna do yourself, you know he does recommend that you take the wheel off. So right, what he's gonna do now is we're just having a look at the diagnostic computer to see if it's cleared it and if it's worked, so I'll let you know in a minute. Right guys, it's cleared it, so, so far so good. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take it for a quick drive, and hopefully that's done it. Right, what I've done is, um, took it for a drive, the light's not come back on, thankfully. So what I'm gonna do now is, we're just gonna do another test, and just to make certain that there's no code stored. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll let him do it. Right, so that's that done. We've checked all the codes and everything and it's cleared it all. So thankfully, that's that done and it was the right-hand rear ABS sensor. I had to think about that to get that right. Um, it took about 40 minutes to do the job. So if it is something that you're going to do, I mean, I would never attempt to do something like that myself. Um, and like I said, my friend, he did manage to do it without taking the wheel off um, and it took about 40 minutes to get it done. And it was, the sensor was quite seized in. He had to like, you know, like wiggle it for a long time and get it out and getting it back and it wasn't easy. It wasn't like very, very easy to do. It wasn't just like take it in and take it back out. But it did take about 40 minutes. Like I said, he didn't have to take the wheel off to do it. Got some other things that we need to do now. So let's go. So guys, we've got a Scotland trip that's coming up. Now, the thing is, the weather, as you can see, it's really nice, it's really warm. Now, we've actually got some fans, but I've left them at Aaron's house, so I need to get on the road, go to Aaron's, and he lives over an hour away, but it's one of them. Do I buy some new fans or do I go and collect them ones? I've decided I'm going collecting them, so let's get on the road and go and collect them. Guys, couldn't come to where we're going without going for a walk here. picking some bits up here and this isn't what I've come for 
but I'm definitely taking that with me. These are what I've left here. And because it's so warm, we need these. But you were hoping you was gonna end up keeping these, weren't you, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, that's what I've come here for this. Definitely need this for Scotland. Do highly recommend that you get one of these. We've actually got two of them and we left them here when we took our pod out, so. We're actually going to Scotland, as you all know, as we said that, we're going to Scotland for about a couple of weeks. And then when we get back, we're going to Wales and you're actually coming to Wales with us, aren't you? Yes, we've got two nights in Wales. Yeah, we, well, we're doing four nights because we're heading over to Nymthrob in a place that we've stayed already, but we're going back for two days. Um, but we've got like a, I suppose it's a bit of like a van meet stay over. It's an organized event, so you need to stay tuned for that one. Also, I've got my van on charge as well. I've got it on tickle charge, so we'll keep it batteries powered and all the ledger battery going. Do you do that a lot? Just curiosity. I don't. Um... It, if I've not moved it for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, then yeah, I normally put it on charge just to keep everything topped up. I suppose then, you don't have to worry about it then, and no, if, you, if you can just plug it in straight plus, up and drive. Uh, like I say, when I jump in it, when I want to use it, it'll start first time. Mm. No matter. Did you mm. sort your ABS out on your van? I did. That's part of this video, actually. Uh, it was the ABS sensor. I did tell Aaron, uh, because it was when we left that well, well camping camp. spot. Yeah. Um, then I text you on the way home saying I've just had a warning light come on. Uh, as I've said, I'm not very technically minded and you actually said it could be a sensor and yeah. it did turn out my friend came out and everything and big thanks to him if he's watching this for sorting that out. But yeah, it was, it was the ABS sensor. That's lucky then. Yeah, because if it was other things, it's more money and more cost. So. Right, it's the day after. Bit random this video, guys, I know. And what we're going to do now is if you follow us on our Facebook page or our Instagram page, and if you don't, give us a follow. We do a weekly raffle, sometimes every fortnight, and today we're raffling off a t-shirt, a cap, and a Dub Ventures bag. So I'm gonna do that now. Like I said, if you follow us on our Facebook or Instagram page, you'll see more about that. Guys, we're also doing an unboxing of something, so stick around for the minute. Hi guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. If you've entered the Dub Ventures raffle for the Dub Ventures cap, the Dub Ventures t-shirt and the Dub Ventures bag, YouTube channel Dub Ventures, bye for now. There we go guys. So congratulations to who just won all of that. Like I said, give us a follow on our Facebook and Instagram page if you want to get involved with that. Right, I did say there's an unboxing. I'm actually cooking at the moment. I'm trying to do some different bits here, so, We've had this delivery today, so we'll open it. Now, I'm glad this is came because we're actually going to Scotland in a couple of days, and I'm excited because we're gonna take this with us. And it is, a Dutch oven. Yes, I've seen lots of good things about these, so I'm looking forward to using this, so. Let's just quickly get inside it. Instructions. Wow, that's heavy. That's the lid. Could you use that as well though. It's like a frying pan. And then there's that. There is like, yeah, it's, I think it's seasoning, you have to do some things. Well, yeah. We're going to do that, but I just wanted to show you that because what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this to Scotland with us. So, right, guys, like I said, got lots to do. Um, we're literally going to Scotland in a couple of days um, and we've got a lot to do. We're actually going to do a video about that, aren't we? About yep. like, how we get ready and everything and like give you guys an idea where we're going because we're basically just going to Scotland and We've, like, no we know plan. where we're going on the first night. We know night. where we're going on the first night and we're well camping, but we're going to give you more details on the next video. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, like I said, it has been random, you know, we got the ABS sensor fixed, we went over to Aaron's to pick up some bits that we'd left at his house. Uh, we've done the raffle, we've unboxed that. Like I said, random video, but we've got lots of travel coming soon. So if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, give us a follow on Facebook and Instagram, but I've already said that. And if you haven't subscribed already, come on, press it guys, it's free and it really helps the channel out. Right, I've got to get Brooks tea cooked, so. Yes, he does. Until the next one, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.